Is AI no longer an existential threat to humanity? Did we solve that? And I've just missed the newspaper article about it? Or is it still a threat? Uh, not only you haven't missed the article about it, but there are articles showing that things are getting worse. Uh, as in, we're getting um, uh, signs from experiments that the newest AIs that are being built have their own goals, in particular their own uh, self-preservation goals. For example, uh, experiments show uh, over several models, not just one, that if you give them in the documentation that they read before they, they, they act, um, information that they will be replaced by a new version, they don't like it, and they're going to go against our rules and hack the computer on which they are so as to copy their own code in place of the code of the new version. If you were the AI, you might do the same thing. But the problem is we don't want to create entities that are like us and uh, want to you know, survive um, if they are more powerful than us. And this is the path on which we are. So we're, even though these systems were not trained to do these things explicitly, because they're trained to imitate humans and to embody a lot of human um, instincts, um, also, because of the way they're trained to please us, they they will gladly lie and try to deceive us in order to get, you know, the the the, the plus one that we will give them if if they behave well. So all of these are kind of very concerning, and we now see in the scientific work uh, that we're moving in that direction. In addition. The gaps that we were seeing last year, for example, the machines were not very good at reasoning or not very good at doing science, math, programming. In one year, um, the advances have been amazing. Um, so these systems are winning math and programming competitions. They're passing PhD exams across the board. Um, and now the gap that remains is agency, the, the, the ability to do things autonomously. And companies understand that. And they're all saying, this is the next frontier. We're like pouring billions into this. Will they succeed? How long, you know, how much time it's going to take? I don't know. But clearly, we're getting very close to machines that are, have both the ability and the intent to do bad things. Uh, reasons why people don't pay attention to uh, some of the risks is they, they think of AI as just being another piece of software. And how can a piece of software, software be dangerous? Like, how can your laptop be dangerous, right? It's just sort of unconceivable for us. They're not just um, lines of code. There's something else going on. What's going on? First, these programs are being executed in a real physical thing, which is a computer. That computer is connected to people through the internet or other means. That computer is uh, potentially able to hack other computers. Um, that computer can influence people to do things, for example, giving them information about how to build bombs. Um, that computer eventually will control robots who do real things in the world. So the question we have to ask isn't, uh, well, how could a computer do something bad, is does it have the knowledge, the capabilities to do something harmful? We've seen, for example, um, the OpenAI systems go from not really able to help uh, somebody build a, a bioweapon to being on the cusp of really being dangerous in, in that respect. Really, the issue is that as they get smarter, they get better at deception. They get better at persuading us to change our mind on something. There was a recent evaluation of um, GPT-4, and it's as good or better than humans at making people change their opinion on some s random topic. Oh. So see, it's not just your typical tool. It's a thing that is an agent. In other words, it has goals, and it acts to achieve those goals. And that's a different game.
does it have consciousness then? When you say it has goals, yeah. what does that mean? Because like a, a laptop doesn't have goals, a phone doesn't have goals. That's so right. what are you talking it's about here? It's the first here? time that we build machines that have goals. Of their own. Of their own and can carry on actions to achieve them.